Blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson, and you all know who I am. I read seven minutes every day, so you do not have to read. That's who I am. That's Papa Ro. He hands me. <laughs> so that's who I am, Mama Pam. Praise God. We'll be reading from the book Prayers That Availeth Much, and I just want to share some of the prayers out of the book that I pray, and you can pray them also. So this prayer is prayer number 82, hedge of protection. We need a hedge of protection around the United States of America. Let us pray this prayer for the United States. Father, in the name of Jesus, we lift up the United States of America to you and pray a hedge of protection around her. We thank you, Father, that you are a wall of fire around and about the United States of America and that you set your angels round and about her. We thank you, Father, that the United States of America dwells in the secret place of the Most High and abides under the shadow of the Almighty. We say of you, Lord, you are her refuge and her fortress. In you will she trust. You cover the United States of America with your feathers, and under your wings shall she trust. The United States of America shall not be afraid of the terror by night or the fiery dart that flies by day. Only with her eyes will the United States of America behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because the United States of America has made you, Lord, her refuge and fortress, no evil shall befall her, no accident will overtake her, neither shall any plague or calamity come near her. For you give your angels charge over the United States of America to keep her in all her ways. Now, Father, because you have set your love upon the United States of America, therefore will you deliver her. The United States of America shall call upon you and you will hear. Oh, yes, you will. And you will answer her. You will be with her in her trouble and will satisfy the United States of America with long life and show her your salvation, not a hair of the United States of America's head shall perish for those that trust you, O oh God. All right, these are the scripture references from what we just prayed. You guys, we got to pray as never before for the United States of America. And again, I admonish you to Isaiah 26, 20 and 21. Stay inside until this thing be passed. Again, I am Mama Pam and Papa Ro of the Smurf Ministry. Until the next broadcast, God bless.